and with another wave of hot weather forecast, the government declared a state of emergency in some central and northern regions of the country. Portugal's Interior Minister Constanca Urbano de Souza meanwhile blamed arsonists and human negligence for most of the summer's fires. Vasco Estrela, the mayor of the embattled village of Macau, told the Lusa News Agency, it's impossible to leave or to enter Macau because of the flames and the smoke. The fire, which broke out on Tuesday evening, had grown stronger through Wednesday and by the small hours of Thursday morning had surrounded the village, he said, adding, the fire is continuing unabated. Already at the end of July, a major fire had destroyed between 80 and 90 percent of the village, he said. The emergency services have had to evacuate around 130 people from nearby villages, said Patricia Gasper, spokeswoman for Portugal's civil protection agency the ANPC. But firefighters were most worried about the fires around Macau, which were continuing to advance on several fronts, she added. The forecast of hotter weather in the coming days, increasing the risk that old fire sites will rekindle or new ones break out, convinced the government to declare a state of emergency in parts of the country. A lethal summer, we came here to help the firefighters as best we can, by putting out smaller fires for example, said volunteer Ines Azevedo, from neighboring Mariscas. In a situation this dire, any help is useful. Already this month, this latest wave of fires has injured 86 people, seven of them seriously, while authorities last week had to evacuate 40,000 people in the town of Abrantes, about 20 kilometers from Macau. And this year's fires have been the deadliest the country has endured. Wildfires in mid-June near Pedrajeo Grande in central Portugal, about 40 kilometers north of Macau, killed 64 people and injured more than 250 others. As well as the loss of life, the fires have destroyed 141,000 hectares so far this year, civil protection officials said Wednesday, citing provisional figures. The exceptional heat and dry conditions, coupled with strong winds, helped explain the scale of the destruction, said Rui Estevez, commander of the ANPC. Record numbers of arsonists Police on Wednesday said they had arrested 91 suspected arsonists since the beginning of the year. That was a record, said Interior Minister Constanca Urbano de Souza on Thursday. Most of the fires have been started by man through negligence or malice, she said. Firefighters have had to tackle a little over 10,000 separate fires so far this year, 2,500 more than at the same period in 2016. And after the lethal fires in June, Portugal has now had to call in international help to battle the forest fires for the second time this summer. Over the weekend, Spain sent 120 firefighters, 27 engines and three firefighting planes to help bolster the exhausted Portuguese teams, part of a European Union program of mutual aid in emergencies. Morocco, too sent has one of its firefighting planes to help. The lethal fires in June led to a debate in Portugal about management of the forests and the need for an overhaul of the emergency response plan in the forest regions.